Hi folks, we're back for another episode in the adventures of Terrapin the Archaeologist. Um, oops. First you have to unload all this random stuff we found. Lots of fun, I know. Um, but it has to be done. Uh, we finally ID'd teleport so I don't have to keep lugging around all these random scrolls. Uh, 100 Jorgman scrolls, that is. Um, but other than that, we've still got plenty of messiness in our inventory to take care of. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, this potion of blindness I might as well make into water now. I'm never going to use blindness for anything, so might as well. Um, water it, whatever you call making it water right now. Um, this spell book is level four. I should just call it that real quick. Um, so I'm not going to read it yet, because it might fail. And... Okay, so we have this blessed scroll that's 80s Orkmins. Um, this suggests it could be Remove Curse. I have a couple things I'd want to remove curses from. Actually, not as many as I thought, though. Okay, I won't read it yet, then. Um, actually I won't even lug it around. <sighs> One thing I would like to do... Hmm. Okay, now I'm trying to remember what I blessed. So I blessed my unicorn horn, that's definitely true. But I had two potions of holy water. And now I'm not sure where the other one is. Hmm. Not that it matters, I can pray for more. But, come on, where'd it go? <laughs> uh, did I leave stuff in another stash somewhere? But where? Hmm. Huh. Um. That is very, very odd. Oh, oh, I remember now. It was the Scroll of Scare Monster. I blessed it. Good choice, I think. Okay, um, with that mystery out of the way, I think, how much unidentified stuff do I have? Mm. I was saying, I, I was gonna say, I thought I might wanna ID stuff, but actually, I think I'm fine. Um, I think we can just keep going as is. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if I can put anything else in my bag, because I keep on getting burdened since I don't have a bag of holding yet. But I really would like to keep most of this stuff around. Guess it just is what it is. I can always put the dart and the long sword away, but I want to keep them on me. Just to see if there's anything weird about them. Um, not planning on dying. Feel pretty confident. But if I do, I would very much like to see what uh, the whole do you want your possessions identified prompt has to say about... Um, about those, those weapons. Mostly I'm curious about the longsword, because plus five in magic is just crazy to find randomly. Um, I mean, I'm more curious about the dart because it's weirder. Like, there's an explanation for the longsword. But the dart, what's up with that? Um, on the other hand, I don't really expect 
to get an answer from identifying it. Like, there's obviously some weirdness going on, but I doubt the game will recognize the weirdness itself in a way that can display it. In, the, in a way that it will display, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going deeper in the dungeon. We might check out the quests. As I mentioned last video, I feel decently... Well, I feel like I could potentially be able to take the my um, quest nemesis on. He's a demon. The minion of Wewetoat, I think. Um, and I have this lovely silver trident of frost. Actually, I'm going to wield that just to ID its enchantment by killing lots of stuff with it. Um, anyway, I have this lovely silver trident of frost that I can use against him. That said, so I fought him once before as a turtle archaeologist, and he wrecked me. I mean, he, he didn't kill me. Um, I, I did end up winning, but he took off like 90 of my HP in like three rounds. And I had two really awesome pets, including a Balrog. Um, so I was fine, but I don't have any pets this round. So even though my weapons are significantly better, I am worried that, um, that that will not be enough. Okay, I riled up this other throne room. I'm getting, getting a lot of throne rooms this time around. Um, I'm switching to my fire trident because there's a bunch of icy enemies around and things are hectic enough that I'm not playing around here. Oh, I'm using my Atlas. Whoops, I guess I am playing around here. Okay, this is getting pretty crazy. Moomex can also grab me. Do not want that noise. Um, so I'm... Gonna head back to the stairs, take them on one at a time in the hallway, hopefully. Um, or maybe they'll just totally lose interest in me, apparently. Ooh, gotta love fire. Oh, and right as I switch back to my Frost Trident, the Ice Troll comes along. Um, more Elven Boots. I'll leave them, whatever. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave the Ice Troll Corpse for now. It will regenerate. Just did, apparently. Um, but I didn't want to be interrupted while eating, either. That would just be annoying and probably fruitless. Okay. I had a troll taken care of. Lovely. Um, and another troll. My. One nice thing about throne rooms is they always come... Okay, we're familiar with our silver trident. Let's go back to the slightly more damaging one. Steel is a damage bonus. Plus one. Um, silver does a hell of a lot of bonus damage, but only against things from hell. So, not really relevant right now. Um, looks like the centaur collected all the gold. So, that's handy. Oh, it was a treasure zoo. That make, I was wondering why there was gold. A lot of the enemies seemed kind of throne room-like, with all the gnomes and stuff, but I guess not. Well, no chest. That's mildly annoying. Um, I'm not going to eat the gray fungus because why, but um, fun fact, they don't cause sickness, just poison. Um, so you can eat them if you feel like it, and you don't mind losing stats if you're not poison resistant. Uh, what is this? Ooh, a nurse, first one. Um, now this is one reason I'm quite happy to have wizard lock. Uh, 
I can lock the nurse in the room and come back later when I feel like I want a nurse dance. Of course, that will involve... Damn it, taking off my shield and then gave the nurse a chance to step in the doorway. Okay. Retry. And I'll move over here. Because I am faster, clearly. But in just a couple turns, I might not necessarily get the distance needed. There we go. Alrighty. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I should be using my Frost Trident. Because it does wreck less um, items. And the damage isn't that big of a difference. Just one point. Actually, I should check with my blindfold what's up on this level. Not terribly illuminating. I don't really know why I'm collecting these rune daggers. There is basically no point. But keep doing it. Hmm. Huh? Downstairs. Another threatening monster. Wait, did the nurse escape? It did. Oh. I wonder if this rock piercer's been digging? No, no, wait. Rock piercers are fine. It's the rock moles that you gotta watch out for. And it's an iron piercer anyway. Whatever. I wonder how it escaped, though. Ooh, we've got a pyrolisk and a dilapidated armory. Um, I'm headed for that armory, and I'm taking off my hat first, so I don't forget later. Because there will certainly be brown puddings. Um... And that would be bad. My oil lamp is getting really low too. Also bad. Uh, hmm. Well, regardless, I have fixed weapons and my mithril is fixed as well. And my gauntlets are fireproof since they were a sacrifice gift. So other than that, um, other than my hat, I am totally good on the Will erosion deal. I'm not sure whether monsters or will erode items they like walk on or eat or whatever. Like I know gelatinous cubes can eat organic things and just totally destroy them, but I don't know if brown or black puddings or oozes or rust monsters do the same thing. I mean rust monsters are phlegmatolivore. Woohoo! We are level 12. That came surprisingly quickly. Interesting. I feel resilient. That means I have regeneration now. Always great. And I feel more confident in my skills, which means I can finally rock the double tridents. Um, so let's make that happen. Woo! Fire and ice, baby. <laughs> um, oops. Didn't mean to pick that up. So... Hmm. Um, I am picking up ooh, a Mithril Lance. That is a nice find for someone who is not me. I am picking up some of the stuff that like is would be nice if I were not a turtle. Because there is a chance I might polymorph into something for a while. And, and or I'll have a humanoid pet at some point. In which case I might want some of this stuff. Also, because I'm at level 12 now, I'm going to want to head up and quaff those potions that may be gain level because if they are then I'll be level 14 and eligible for the quest which would be nice um, and so I don't really mind if um, I don't really mind if I get, you know, accumulate a lot of stuff quickly. In fact, that's arguably better. Okay, cloth hat, probably useless, but it also could be enchanted, given that it's a noble. Um, so I'll bring it. 
You know, be a oil skin. That would be very, very lucky. Uh, I'm not. Is are there other trees that I've missed? No, it seems like this is the first level of the trees. Okay, because oh I, yeah, I don't know. I forgot that I unicorn. Uni, I had a unicorn horn now, so I was thinking maybe eucalyptus leaves would be nice. But actually, we're fine. We're good. Uh, one nice thing about two opening, one of the many nice things is um, I can easily. Oh, it's a saddle, not like a. I don't know what I thought it was. Either way, I don't really need it. Um, ouch. Okay. Let's leave off on that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I can wield my pickaxe. Sorry, my matic. Without having to take off my shield, because I'm not wearing a shield. I do have to do the whole two weapon thing over and over again, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Oh yeah, that's just another way in which dexterity being so low is awful for turtles. Um, when you start, when you like switch from wielding one weapon to two weapons, or vice versa. Uh, all right, already burdened. <laughs> nice. Um, it's takes uh, it take it can take a turn obviously but if your dex is high enough specifically if a d20 roll is not higher than your dexterity it will not take a turn which is great for like dwarves and hobbits and races that can reach 20 dexterity because they can basically two up and an undo up and it will um Turtles can't even get decent dexterity, so two opening is are always going to be an iffy proposition in terms of whether it'll take a turn. It's really not ideal that I'm burdened, but I do seem to be losing the nurse anyway. How fast are they? Speed six, no wonder. But still, that nurse is like the Terminator. Like, I really felt that I had I had him trapped. Um, not sure how it got out. I should really have a lower level stash. Like maybe here. It's always nice to have one on an altar level, of course. Um, when I'm able to open this... Oh, that's a stone chest. Oh, the crystal chest is over here. Right. When I'm able to open this crystal chest, I'll likely move my stash down at least to here. Because it's convenient. The chest is already here. I don't have to move it. There's an altar, lawful altar on the level. And it's deeper in the dungeon, so I don't have to keep on trekking up and down so much. But I don't want to have to move my stash like every three levels, so... For now, I'm dealing with it. Um. Ooh, another giant beetle. Let's see if I can make it to an altar with you. I'm not really sure where I am in the dungeon. No altars on this level. Probably not going to make it then. Do you need to go to the altar for curse testing regardless, so... <laughs> Offer. There we go. Yeah, too late for that. Not for the iguana. Alrighty.
Okay, so B. I'm going to want to bless the potions before I quaff them. That's a good choice, regardless of whether they're gain level or gain ability. Um, well, since I'm quaffing multiple in a row, it doesn't necessarily matter if all of them are blessed if it's gain level, as long as the last one's blessed. Because it sets your experience to a random value. Um, that would work for your new experience level, if that makes sense. Um, so it's possible that when... If, say, it's, I drink a blessed potion of gain level right now, I'll become level 13, and I might be one experience point away from level 14. Very unlikely, but um, it's kind of like getting one and a half experience levels. Although at high, really high experience levels, you're not going to be gaining levels via experience anyway, so it's less of, an, less of a big deal then. Um... None uh, of this armor, is, except the hats, is stuff I'm actually going to be using, per se. What do you know? The hat is enchanted. Um, that is in some ways useful, because uh, erosion can take away AC from the base material, but it never takes away AC from it in the enchantment. So unless you're, like, have a lot of... Unless you're like in the late game where you have lots of enchant armor scrolls and destroy armor scrolls for rust proofing and enchanting, often something that's a worse material but higher enchantment is actually better than something that's a good material and lower enchantment. So like I'd take a plus three cloth cloak over a um, is that plus two cloth cloak over uh, a plus zero leather cloak, even though they offer the same AC, for instance. Um, See, I want to keep the cloth hat, I suppose, and that yeah, looks good. Gonna keep the mithril shield of reflection, obviously. You never know when you might need it. Um, and since it's so light, it's really easy to put on and off, take on and off. So that's nice. Um, also nice, I can use my spells uh, much more freely now. Uh, speaking of which, I should do some more IDing. Um, what the hell? Let's see if we can ID this. Uh, this sword. All right. Oh, it's plus two. That's right, because enchantments also get multiplied by the material. Okay, that makes much more sense than plus five in magical. <laughs> Um, good to know. Uh, yeah, I often forget that. So you get plus 20 to the base price for um, being plus 2, but then that 20 is multiplied by the fact that Mithril is worth more than five times that of wood, so seems like a lot more. Um, I would very much like to know how if my lightning wand has more charges in it, and it does not. That is very good information to know. I'm going to keep it on me, because I might be able to wrest the last charge out of it, and you never know when that might be useful. Hopefully I will never be that desperate, but you never know. Um, And let's see what this new spellbook is. Remove curse. We're just getting all, all the good spells. Lovely. Um, I'm not going to be able to cast it very well, but well. Oh, and I forgot to take a potion of um, or a scroll of teleportation with me last time, so I should do that. And I should take another lamp with me as well, because this one's almost dead. Um, lots of stuff to remember as always. Okay, doot doot. Doot doot. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
All right, uh, scrolls. Do I only have curse scrolls of patellic rotation? Oh, come on. Well, it's better than nothing. Sometimes even better than an uncursed scroll, I suppose. <sighs> but more iffy for sure. Uh, no, I'd like to very much to ID this. So, yeah, I'll take that. And then potions. We need to get some holy water. So, obviously, we'll take the water for that. Um, and I'll try dubbing my unicorn horn in the. No, not this. Um, and stuff that's definitely not 200 Zork mids, because that would be polymorph, and I do not want to lose my only unicorn horn. I also try the 50s as well, just to see if when I'm on sickness, that would be good to know. Okay, so the orange potion is 100 Zork mids. Um, what could it be? I never remember. So, unicorn horns cure... Hallucination, blindness, not sleeping. I always think it does, but it doesn't. Um, they cure confusion, and they turn sickness into fruit juice as well. So one of those potions is 150. I think it might be hallucination. And the other two are 100. Um, oh, I can look it up. Right. Object lookup. Makes price ID so easy. So, so much easier. Base price 150. Okay, I did screw that up. Blindness is the 150 one. So that means it could be, the orange potion could have been either hallucination or confusion. Mm -hmm. Where are you? There you are. Okie doke. And handily, I don't ever need hallucination or confusion or blindness, so I absolutely don't mind turning them into water if that's what happens. Oh, I don't need to test the 150 ones because I already have blindness. Okay. So it looks like magenta's fruit juice and milky is sickness. Oh, so fun fact, sickness is actually going to be fixed appearance in the next version. Um, I think it's a little fussy, but I do understand the reasoning. So, uh, there's going to be a sort of brew brewing adjacent thing going on. Uh, oh, is there water nearby? Because then I can take the fruit juice. If it's not nearby, then I won't bother. Where am I? There I am. So go on, right? So this level nine. There are fountains that I could dig into, but they only produce shallow water, which dries up. There's a moat in the quest level. That's way far down. And there's eels. Well, I don't care about eels because I'm a turtle. And eh, I won't bother. I'll just stick with these five potions for now. Okay. Um, anyway, so uh, there's like this kind of brewing thing going on. I know some other variants have it. Uh, Hackam is the only one I know off the top of my head. Where if you dip molds into diff into potions, fruit juice or sometimes other potions like acid, maybe? No, not acid. That's uh, gems. I don't know. You dip them into something. In Evil Hack, it's fruit juice. Um, and you can get various other um, potions from that. So Evil Hack is much more limited. Um, it only does this for a new potion, the potion of Drow Poison. Not, not sure if that's the official name, but it's poison made by Drow. So. Um, actually gonna drop my Luck Stone. Not super eager to get crowned immediately. Actually, why the hell not? I could use Excalibur. Oh, I know why the hell not. What if I get Dramberleg? No, I won't get Dramber. So I was like, I'm like vaguely in being influenced by the last game I had. 
um, where I found Dramber Leg just on the floor somewhere, and I couldn't use it because I was restricted in axes, and I'd already gotten crowned, so I couldn't unrestrict them. And just now I'm thinking, like, I want to delay crowning for that. But it's not going to happen again. I mean, it was very unlikely. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it via sacrifice, because it favors dwarves as well as being lawful. So if you're not a dwarf, if you're not a lawful dwarf, I don't know if it would get given to you. I think it probably would. Regardless, okay, surrounded by golden glow. I think that would have restored a lost level, except I have gotten past the wraith draining already, so I just gain max hit points, probably. Um, main thing is I got my holy water. So I can use this on ID scrolls, I can use this on those two fancy potions. What else do I want to use them on? Luxstone, tinning kit. Let's do that right now, actually. Oh, they're in my bag. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Scrolls of magic detection, if I find any of those. <laughs> Amulet versus poison, that's useless. Okay, uh, let's start with these potions. Gain ability. Not sure how I feel about that. I kind of want to be level 14 for the quest, but it is important to get gain ability. Um, okay, well, I've maxed out everything except wisdom and charisma and strength. Okay, so that's only half, but <laughs> it feels like more than that. Strength, I can always get up with giants, not a huge deal. Wisdom and charisma, they're a bit bigger of a deal. I will. But I just need one more potion of gain ability, and I'm sure it'll come along, so... Um, not worried. <sighs> Anything else I really need to use these potions on right now? Anything in my bag? Nope. I am going to put in one of the blessed potions, though. You never know when you might need some holy water. Anything in my bag? in my chest, whatever. Um, potentially one of these 300 Zerkmid scrolls, but I don't know which one. Magic Detection on 1 of Plus is the point. Uh, sleeping Potion, should I go for a Smoky Wish? Hmm. So, yeah, in general, I assume that you, if you're watching you probably have a good understanding of NetHack because this is a niche, like Evil Hacks is somewhat niche uh, community even among NetHack players. So presumably you know a good bit about it, but smoky potions are a bit odd. Um, when you quaff a smoky potion, you have a chance of summoning a djinn and it might grant you a wish, just like a magic lamp. Is it djinn Djinn might be the plural. I don't speak Arabic, I don't know. Um, so, three potions. There are some odds. I don't remember off the top of my head what it is. Um, what the chance of summoning engine is. It depends partially on how many have already been summoned, but I haven't gotten any, so that's not a concern. It does remind me I need another lamp, though. Take the gold one. Um, it's still... Is it going to be lighter than a lantern? Barely. I'll go for it anyway. Wait, what's a lantern made of? Copper. Interesting. Good to know that they're rust-proof. Um, oil lamps are also made of copper, so that's handy. Potions. Back to potions. Uh, I'm going to look up the ads real quick. Well. Turns out the chance is 1 in 13 when no other gin, ginny, gin, no other gin have been produced, so not that big of a chance of getting a wish. Eh. I'm gonna go for it. A helmet of a helm of speed would just do so much good for me. 
I think it's worth a shot. Um, do need to be careful though, because there are potions of sleep enough. Oh, I have sleep resistance now, so it's totally an unconsumed. Never mind. <gasps> it happens! This is very exciting. Okay, there's only one wish for a turtle, especially a turtle with magic resistance. And that is a blessed plus three blessed greased plus three dragon hide realm of speed. Have I missed anything? Oh, I already pressed enters. But no, I don't think I missed anything. Um Yeah, there's nothing else to say on the matter. Plus zero. Oh well. Um Actually, now that I have this, I think I'm going to read that blessed 80 dark mid scroll. Because if it's remove curse, I can remove my curses from a bunch of stuff. And if it's enchant armor, I can increase the I can um, enchant the helm of speed because that's end game material all the way. So yeah, I mean turtles are slow, so speed is all the more important to them. And uh, I guess I should just quaff the last potion too. Is there anything? No, I won't. Because if I get Dragon Bane or Graze on Deer via Sacrifice, I might want to wish for the other one. But there's nothing else I actually need right now, because I can't wear any other armor. My gloves are going to be Dragon Bane at the end of the day, slash Gauntlets of Purity. But I don't want to wish for that, so I actually don't want any more wishes right now. Um, anyway, uh. Basically, you got you can wear a toque, elven helm, or a helm of speed as a turtle. Uh, toques and elven helms basically are just mundane armor, although toques do present pre prevent uh, scream attacks, which is nice. But there's only like two enemies with scream attacks, so whatever. Um, And uh, the the one thing is a um, a cloth toque or elven helm can be oil skin and that could be useful. But other than that, um, Dragonite helm will speed all the way because it provides a lot of AC and it provides you the speed. End of story. Um, one thing that I did not wish for with that particular wish because it's already like well into the mid game at thirty thousand turns. But if it was an early game wish, I would have wished for a magical home of speed. Because I might get an object property then. Which has better chance of being useful to me early in the game. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to roll the dice on that. Because that property could be like hunger or fumbling, and that would just totally wreck the usefulness of the helm. Alrighty. Uh, where to? Where to? Right. Um... Not where to yet. I'm gonna check out this scroll. I have five scrolls of each 80s orcmanness. So um who is to say I don't know if there's a difference in rarity, but even if there is, I can't exploit it because I have the same amount of each scroll. Um, hmm. I think I will remove the curse from this one scroll of teleportation. No, I will not. Because I do have multiple teleport wands, so I can always use those if I need to teleport within the level. I guess it is nice to have a source of level teleport if I need it. Okay, that's decided. Um, what other curse stuff do we want to take out? Mithril daggers for sure. Katana. Steel Atlas, absolutely. Morning Star as well, probably. Um, boots, if I ever use those. We'll leave the teleportation. Cursed potions are usually bad. So, we'll uncurse all those. Rings, obviously, want to uncurse. We're at 52 slots total. Um. What else can we drop? This comestibles. 
Um, and that can give us the weapons. Okay. And then take off my f protection gauntlet so that if it's enchant armor, it will enchant my helm. And read T. Alrighty. It was enchant armor. I can live with that. Uh, and then dump all the cursed stuff back. Wasn't carrying any, any of it in my bag. And didn't have any cursed stuff in my open inventory or whatever. So, okay, we're back to where we started. And I guess we're just continuing exploring. I was honestly kind of expecting them to be game level, the two 300 Zerkman potions. So, I don't know if I want to start the quest yet. Um, and Evoc, you can start the quest below um, experience level 14. I think you have, might have to be experience level 10. Maybe not even that. But it increases monster spawn rates. Eh. It's arguably not a bad thing if you can handle them, because... Um, oh, it disappeared. And you have a... Oh, that leprechaun is going down. I, with extreme prejudice. Prejudice. Um, as a wearer of a mithril amulet, or sorry, not mithril, as a, of a gold amulet, I absolutely cannot afford any leprechauns to live. And the spears didn't reach far enough. Of course, they're one square away from the leprechaun. <sighs> okay. Well, it died in one hit, so we're good. All right, and I'm going to chase down this, oh, that's a newt and not a unicorn. I guess we'll eat that too. There we go. Um, never have too many unicorn ones. I guess I could wish for a bag of holding. I do kind of want one of those. Not really badly enough to use a wish on one, though. Probably better to just keep searching the dungeon and or try polypiling first. And there's always the Ice Queen's realm, eventually, maybe. Um, that is an artifact bag of holding, so... Actually, I, I'm going to keep exploring the dungeon now that I'm down here, but... One thing that I can do is um, do some sack festing. I think I should give that a shot. Maybe even try to get crowned for Excalibur. I mean, my weapons are pretty badass, so I don't really feel the need for an artifact weapon. Uh, I would very much like Excalibur at some point for drain resistance, if nothing else. Um, but it is not necessary for the damage, I would say. Uh, couldn't get to the other door. So yeah, that's gonna come after me. Anywho, um, so sacrificing is in our future. Oh, my lamp's out. And I'm gonna name it just so I don't come it later for some reason. I'm like, why did I leave a perfectly good oil lamp on the ground? Because it's not perfectly good. Puce is such a weird word. I always think it's like a yellow for some reason. Possibly because it sounds kind of like puke. Ooh, polymorph trap. Lovely. Um... Okay, I'll lock off this room. And... Uh, need a level. And I will try to find a pet. Or maybe I'll just step into it myself at some point. Who knows? Uh, probably won't. I have other ways of polymorphing myself. Um... Oh, zombies on the level again. 
They just never end. At least I have a grease town. Oh, there's a zombie. And that, folks, is what a unicorn run is for. Okay. New level. What a relief. Oh, we should see what's on the level. Ooh, uh, Coaline Priest. Nice. Um, I mean, I have like eight different altars in the dungeon already. Let's count them. <sighs> level 5 is 1. Level 7 is 2. Level 11 is 3. Level 14 is 4. Level 16 is 5. My level is 6. And then Mine Town has 7. And currently, including the one on this level, three of them are co-aligned. One of them I converted. But still, two co-aligned altars in the dungeon already. Plus, the uh, Archaeologist quest always has one altar of each alignment as well. So that is a pretty solid bonus for the archaeologist role, I'd say. Um, I'm certainly not going to need it, though. And I also lock off the temple just for no particular reason, but you never know when you might not want that to be the case. Um, I'm not going to chat with the priest for protection because um, I prefer to only buy protection from one priest at a time because then I can, when I've paid all the money I've cared to, I can kill the priest and take all the money to the next one. Um, yeah, probably not necessary if you're also draining yourself. Where's this digger? Oh, that's a no, uh, dwarf royal. I totally thought it was a mind flayer and was not particularly looking forward to it. Okay, good to know. Um, this is like the third level that's just massively dug out. Really hope I don't encounter any summoners on these levels. And another forge! I'm just getting all the furniture. Um, where was I? Don't remember. Uh, Damn, acid again. Dragon hide's decently heavy, so it can sometimes take a turn or two to take the helm off. Which means it's harder to protect from grease than, say, an elven helm. It's harder to protect the grease from acid. Rather. Is that a minotaur? Hope not. Just net and okay. Um, as confident as I am, minotaurs will always be scary. Ooh, probably level teleport. Let's see if there's a vault. Nope. I'm pretty sure Adorarium can show up on vaultless levels. Never actually bothered to check. Um, either way, that particular one didn't lead to a vault. And I'm not interested in searching for it, so. We have ourselves yet another throne room. Looks very manageable. I'm going to head straight for it so it doesn't get woken up by some other random stuff that happens. Um, currently, stealth is a bit wonky. Not totally sure of the details, but basically having stealth, I think, might make things more likely to wake up to nearby noises. Either way, it's fixed in the next version. Um, with some addendums even, like uh, rogues have a bonus on top of just their stealth being stealthy. If you're wielding Shadow Blade, you get an even bigger bonus to not waking up stuff. That's neat. Um, <sighs> enchant weapon scroll, lovely. I might enchant my silver trident of frost because that's easily end game material. Mm, don't have a stethoscope yet, so I can't open the safe. Well, let's uh, put the gold in my bag so it doesn't get stolen. 
pick out some unidentified stuff. Just pick some things. Good enough. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a, just a bona fide sea dragon. That would have really screwed me over if I was anything but a turtle. As it is, I'm like basically fine. Um, well, I suppose I, even if I wasn't a turtle, I do happen to have an amulet of magical breathing. That's by no means guaranteed. Uh, I'm gonna just put rusty things in my bag real quick. Not actually sure about my rings, but don't really have the time to take them off. And I'll just I'll check on my rings and wands just so I know. Poly controls clay. It's gonna be fine. I guess it's fired clay because it doesn't like melt in water. Um, protection, protection, protection is bronze. Yeah, that's fine too. Oak, brass is fine. Hexagonal, I think, will rust. Zinc is probably fine. Spike will rust. Okay, so magic missile and teleport have to go in the bag. Um, my Atlas is iron. Potions can dilute. Is that rings will be fine, but why bother having them in open inventory anyway? Uh, and I don't have any magic missile wands right now. Okay, good to know. Grease is made of steel, I think. A can. Um, magic missile is steel. Tin and kit needs to go. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm going to start with the center, actually. Oh, maybe I should take out the gnomish wizard first. Oh, I forgot about the grease. Well, basically, I can just hang out here. Like, it's a good place to rest, which I will need to do on occasion. Um, most dragons have a digestion attack, so you, you can still rest on them if your AC is high to a point, but uh, it's not a good long-term strategy. Here, I'm fine. I can stay in here as long as I want, because I won't drown. Um, you may have noticed it says you can't breathe, but you don't need to. That's technically incorrect. I do need to breathe. It's just I can breathe underwater. Um, and I think that might be fixed in the future. I don't know. Uh, it is recognized as a bug, so presumably something will be done about it. Um, well, okay, that was significantly easier than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to die or anything, but I didn't think I'd take it out in like three shots either. I don't really need dragon scales, but the hoarder in me just weeps at the idea of leaving them here. They also weigh like 40 AUM. And I'll take them with me and I might drop them later, I guess. Fine. Um, okay. Don't need to look at hats anymore. I have my forever helm. Yoke. Uh, and this thing, yeah, it's not moving. I could tin it. That seems like a waste of a tinning charge, though. I'll just hang out on the level for a while. Maybe it'll rot away. Maybe I can eat it? Uh oh, troll's back. Okay. Much, much better. Did that do anything? I don't think so. I think it might restore abilities or something, but I have not lost any stats. Well, that's lovely. At least it didn't curse my items. I think it might do that with low enough luck, maybe. I'm quite high on luck, so no worries. Um, okay. So that's, I guess, the saga of that throne room's not quite over yet, because I still have got to return for the safe when I have a means of opening it. But for now, we continue to explore the rest of the level.
Oh, I do not want to eat anything more. I'm very satiated. Remember Hulk on the level. There it is. I'll take care of that real quick. We have a confusing gauge attack, which can be annoying. Um, so, rather not have to face other items or explore, other monsters or explore or something while needing to blind myself. Ooh. Peaceful, okay. Um. Oh, shit, shit. There are probably many. Magic beam. <laughs> there we go. Man, many magic beam traps. Actually, I'm actually going to switch to my reflection shields. I don't plan on stepping anywhere that isn't thoroughly searched, but I'm not sure I can say the same about the night. Speaking of which, that's another reason to be very careful, because if I set off a trap that hurts the night, it might anger it. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, damn. Yeah, I do not want to continue eating for sure. Lucky to get the prompt. Ooh, another smoky potion. Soon after we decided to bless our stack, of course. Such is the way of things. Don't eat, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. Just saying that aloud so that I don't do it. Spoiler alert, it likely will not help. I think that's it for this level. Probably. Yeah, no, I'll keep the lamp lit. Who dirt trap. Could get magical stuff, you never know. Um, I'll just drop them up here, because that is a lot of wheat. Align with the sea dragon scales. Okay. Oh, and I should, oops, see what's on the level. Blue jump! Oh, very exciting. Or not blue jump, snark, whatever they're called. Um, potential blue jump. Point is, they give disintegration resistance, and they always leave a corpse because they're large. So, yes, please, is my point. Although, don't eat it immediately. <laughs> They are very skittish, so it can be hard to catch up to them. Oh, my tin's in my bag because I didn't want it to get rusted. There we go. Oh, and take out my teleport wand too in case I need that. Doesn't need a name anymore, I know how many charges it has. Okay, tin of snark meat uh, to eat at our convenience. Earliest convenience, preferably. Um, I think I need 50% disintegration resistance to protect body armor and cloaks and shields and whatnot. Uh, but jokes on the black dragons because I can't wear any of that stuff except a shield, but the only one I have is reflection, so it'll be fine anyway. Uh, I mean, disintegration can do a lot of damage, probably enough to one shot me, though that would be very unlikely. But I, once I have 5% disintegration rate resistance, I will be significantly less concerned, is my point. Um, huh. I've never seen a little ghost room like that before. Uh, in case you're curious, I do not play with bones, so there's not a player character. Huh. Fascinating. Just when you think you've seen everything that heck has to offer. It's kind of a sad little room. Small and lonely. <sighs> Another level 2 spellbook. Just keep coming. Which is good. 
Um, what could it be? It could be a summon sphere, summon sphere spell, which is great for archaeologists. They're matter spells. They summon a tame freezing or flaming sphere, depending on the spell. And they do a decent amount of damage, plus they have a different attack vector than most attack spells. Um, so that means reflection isn't as much of an issue. You can summon them from inside boulder forts and they'll still home in on enemies, stuff like that. Um, and archaeologists can get to basic and matter spells, so it's easy for them to cast. We have ourselves a wraith. Uh, I think I will avoid it until I can get to level 13, if I if I can manage that. Um, and then use... Oh, and a tengu too. Got all the good corpses on this level. Fire giant. Is that peaceful? It is. Okay, well, I'm... Still likely we'll kill it later because strength and fire resistance are both on my to-do list. But yeah, for now I won't aggravate it. Um, more magic beam traps, my goodness. Lots of dead ends up this level, slightly annoying. That yeah, might be all of it explored, actually. Alrighty. What have we on this level? Spider cave, not sure what else yet. Sounds good to me. Spellbook of healing, very good for me. Um, and I'm burdened again. Hmm. <sighs> you level 21. Maybe I'll check out Ludius now. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's another weird thing, is beam traps like don't really respect your line of sight. So even when you're really far away from them, you'll often get messages about monsters getting hit by the beams. So that was presumably the trap down here. Um, I guess it's a poison gas trap, and something stepped on it and triggered it, and I was notified somehow. The very distinct sound of poison gas hitting something. Isn't that like a catchphrase in, like, Leverage or something, that TV show? It's a very distinctive sound. Um, ooh. Oh, just a troll. Okay. Well, I'm still satiated, so do not eat the troll. Or the mosquitoes. Or anything else. Um, except the snark when you feel up to it. Honestly, I would go for it with magical breathing, except I am worried that I'll accidentally eat something later when I'm super satiated and choke and die. Um, so I'd prefer to get out of the danger zone as quickly as possible and only then eat the snark. And I mean, what are the chances of a random black dragon, right? I mean, they are super small, but I also am aware that I'm tempting fate. This is also a viable stash level, I suppose. Uh, teleport trap is especially nice because I can put a chest on it, and it's very difficult for monsters to get to it, because most will get teleported. Um, and of course I can lock it too. It's in the middle of a room, which I'm less pleased about. Or I can put it in the Adorarium closet. That's a solid choice, actually. Like I did with the Hobbit Rogue, Rogue in fact. Um, Oh, shit. Okay. See if I can sacrifice this dude. Got some luck. Nice. How difficult there's routines. Difficulty 12. So yeah, I probably got two luck out of that. Unless I already had nine or whatever. <sighs> Do 
do I want to move my stash down here is the question. Why did I put my blindfold on? I think I just associate it with like seeing the bigger picture when I wanted to look at the overview. Uh, Ludios is up on 12. There's a bunch of loot that I'll probably want to take back to my stash there to detect magic with. So that's closer to Sokoban. The quest is where? Level 16, so I'm much closer to that here. Mm. And then there's also the question of where are some, where's a chest that I can find to actually use the, um, to actually put my loot in. Was there one on this level? There's the iron safe, that lot of good that does me. And on the level above. And that's a saddle. Mithril chest, perfect. Um, Not organic, so shot and skews won't bother it. Not that they would anyway if it was on a teleport. And let's take the shortcut. Boom. Um, oh, no, actually. Let's buy us some time. I don't want to face this monster until I've. Um, figured out my stash situation. Okay, uh, let's call a video for now, I guess. Mm, I might do a little longer. Yeah, it seems like these videos are destined to be rather long, contrary to the series title. Um, so. Might as well get the sash stuff out of the way now, even though I do want to put it off rather. Start with the easy stuff. Oh, I do want one gold though. Okay. Um, don't need any of this, except maybe this. Let's see if I can ID it actually. Come on, there we go. It's literally just a plus zero mithril dart. So weird. All right then. I'm, I've had enough of carrying it around. It's just so heavy. I mean, it's like six AUM more than otherwise it would be, but what's the point? So, uh, we can finally eat our snark meat. Uh, we don't need this many food rations. Don't need to see dragon scales. Don't need all these things. I think I might use the enchant weapon scroll on my silver trident though. Um, should read this glittering spell book as well. Oops, didn't get that far. Okay, wielding our silver trident of frost, weapon and claw. Let us read enchant weapon. Okay, I'll take it. Um, Five hundred and six golds. All this ammo is unnecessary. Uh, some dragon skills I don't need. Three C. Okay. Uh, and then scrolls. Okay. Um, and let's eat this snark meat now that we're unsatiated. Great, slightly disintegration resistant now. Feel much better about not uh, wielding my shield of reflection all the time. Uh, let's keep this 100 Zorgmid potion. Maybe it's like healing or something. Who knows? 
Mm, don't need any cursed ones. Don't need multiple lines of striking, especially when we have first force bolts. Am I missing anything? Don't need as many lizard corpses either. And this is spell books, of course. Okay, uh, what's this new spell book? Detect Unseen. Okay, um, pretty useless spell. But it'll be good for training divination. Actually, how, how am I doing? Yeah, I haven't even gotten to enough skill for basic yet in divination. Not that I can get to that yet anyway, because I don't, know if, don't have any skill slots open, but that'll definitely be my first stop, I think. I suppose that's actually an argument for using my ID scrolls now, because it's not like I need to save them for anything. I'll just be able to ID stuff with the spell eventually. Better than I am now, anyway. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't think we need to necessarily move our staff, stash in its entirety down here yet. Uh, we'll have to do that eventually, though. What did I just do? Ah! Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Um, I think I clicked enter too early and I did hashtag adjust and then S to T and then of the S to T of S and T of stash, and then the A applied S, which was now my lamp. That explains it. Okay. Um, still feel like I'm carrying a lot of stuff, but not really. Yay. Onward and downward. Um, we should take, what was the monster lurking around outside? Probably the cube. Yeah, it's a two warning. Mumek. I could lure it over to the altar, but yeah. Oh wait, that's right, I said I was going to sack fests. Hmm. Whatever. You can always wait till level 14 for that. Because I'll have even better chances of an artifact then. Ugh. Well, I'm satiated now, so I don't know if I can totally eat the troll. Oh, shit. Didn't want to kill the Hascat. Whatever. Uh, I would have wanted a pet to polymorph. But I'm sure I can find one. Oh, there's two raids on the level. Interesting. The question is, do I kill both of them and hope I get two corpses? Seems unlikely. Or do I fatten them both up? Which is to say, I'm not actually going to fatten them up. I'll just leave them alone. Um, until... I get to experience level 13. Which is 13,000 experience away. Not quite halfway there. Um, acid is scary. Less scary for ochre jellies than spotted, but still decently scary. So I will kill it from afar. Um, was there a nightmare on this? No, there wasn't. There's a nightmare somewhere around here. I should tame that. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe I killed it. I don't know. But if a nightmare or a warhorse or another little dog or cat spawns, I'm taming that, dude. That is why I have this banana on me. And I suppose the tripe as well. Or I could use a food ration. I don't know. I think I have more tripe to spare than food rations. I mean, not in a general sense. But in terms of what I'm carrying on me right now. Oh, spear traps. Okay, I'm going to do this the lazy, lazy and very slightly dangerous way. Which is to put on flying instead of magic resistance. And just fly over every square to see which ones have spear traps. Surprisingly few. Normally a room with multiple traps is just absolutely riddled with them. Which seems to be especially the case with spear traps, although I think that's likely just confirmation bias. 
Um, okay. What have we here? Flail. Good make a good Aquas. You never know. Oh my god, it's another altar. <laughs> Till one to Quetzalcoatl. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Truly, my god blesses me. Feeling a, like maybe my god's being a little clingy. And chill, bro. I'll always sacrifice to you. Woohoo! Koshmar. No, my best buddy, Koshmar. Um, one problem is... Uh, Koshmars are herbivores, so I can't feed it that many corpses. But that just means I don't have to feel guilty about not feeding it that many corpses, and instead go and immediately polymorph it. So let's do that. Which level was the poly one? 16. Oh, I'm pretty far down, actually. Oh, and I want to make sure... Whoop. Did it just... Where'd my pet go? Bizarre. No, no leave, leave the poor wraith alone, dearie. What did it ever do to you? Uh, woohoo! We did it. You can take care of the Tengu, though. Or not, apparently. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to save the raids for later. Yay. Let's let our Koshmar range free. I think it's mildly funny that the thing that's scarier than a nightmare is nightmare, but in French. French is a terrifying language, I know. How do you pronounce things? How do you spell things? All right, this, right, this is a stash. Didn't recognize the level for a sec. Okey doke. Actually, I guess we can drop off more stuff at our handy dandy new stash. Exciting. Whoa, both cursed. Yikes. Um, it's pretty much all we picked up. Huh. Alright then. Oh, I should switch out this first, the Steel Atlas that I have. That is now uncursed. Actually, it might not be plus two, it could be plus one. I screwed up with the pricing before. Seems likely. Whatevs. Um, it might be that a steel Atlas is better than... Oh, it's upstairs anyway. Okay. I guess we're carrying this one around then. Um, might be the Steel Atlas is better, even if it is slightly less enchanted. Because I'm only using it now for, like, last resort, throwing at something when I don't have any better thing better to use. Um, and if I'm fighting something at that stage, then it likely is not very dangerous. It might just be pesky, like it does acid damage or something. Um, I should maybe heal my Koshmar. If it's not attacking the Dwarf King, it's presumably quite hurt. Oh, Bone Pickaxe. Yes, this Dwarf King needs to go down. There we go. Good Koshmar. Very good Koshmar. At last I can ditch my, ditch my Mithril Matic. 
it served me well, but it is a pain to use now. Mind you, I haven't actually checked that the bone pickaxe is uncursed yet. But it probably is. You can check real quick, come back if it isn't. Oh, Chickatrice, this thing has to go down too, actually. Let's try our magic missile. Fun. Anticlimactic, but fun. Alrighty, wearing my gauntlets. No corpse anyway, so that's moot. Oh shit, went down the hole. I wanted to make sure it was okay not stoned. Well. Great, and it's not on this level. Oh, I fell down a deep shaft, so I'm actually probably much farther down than it is. Hug. The tribulations of having a pet, am I right? <sighs> At least it's not on this level. I can avoid hurting the reeds. What is... Uh, I forgot that I didn't have infravision for a second and I was wondering what invisible thing was moving around. I have seen invisible, so that actually wouldn't be an explanation either. Oh, oh there it is, okay. Neato. Hmm. Will my nightmare attack its fellow? Horse lover does not seem to be the case. Probably not very high level. I don't think it's really important to get the level up, because I don't think Polymorph cares about that stuff. Oh, shoot nymph. As in, shoot the nymph, I suppose. I guess we should tin the nymph as well. Alrighty. Uncursed bone pickaxe, lovely. There is nothing better than, an un than a bone pickaxe in terms of weight. Bone is the lightest hard material, including mithril. I think mithril pickaxes are 37 units. Would have been more convenient to have that when I was still wearing my shield and had to worry about two-handed weapons, but still very convenient. Of course it can burn, but most inventory items don't get exposed to fire damage all that often. It's not really a concern. Uh, ooh, this is a tricky one. I think I'm gonna lure the nurse up this direction and then circle around the other way. Alrighty. Worked like a charm. Oh, the polymorph traps on this level. Shoot. I guess I don't want to circle around. Alrighty, let's give this a shot. <sighs> Garden snake? Garter snake, whatever they're called. Folk etymologies aside, pretty useless pet. Um, Winter wolf is also pretty useless, but it doesn't even have the decency to be fully grown one. You only see these in Gehenna, so presumably it's decently dangerous. No, not really. I mean, they're definitely not threats once you got there anyway. It is quite fast, but its attack is just awful. Let's see if we can get past its 30 MR. Oh, 
My problem is it's no longer leashed to me, so I think it's less likely to land on the polymorph trap. Oh, there's one. Um, I know I've seen it seen it written some places that you can displace a pet onto a polymorph trap. I don't know what version changed that, but <gasps> dragon, tame yellow dragon, totally will take this. Um, I don't know where that comes from, but uh, it doesn't work in Evil Hack in this particular version for sure. Uh, so, don't bother, I guess, is my point. Ooh, this is tricky though. Because it will probably one-shot the nurse if it gets a chance. So I really need to be careful about avoiding it. Hmm. Can I make this work? Maybe I can trap it in another room. Does it have like a key or something? Is that how it's getting out? Oh my god, there's two of them. They're multiplying. This is a little bit spooky, I gotta be honest. <sighs> okay, we're noping out of here. Come on, Smog. We don't want any part of this shining esque scene. Um. Where to? Where to? Should we keep exploring? I think we'll give that a shot, maybe. I think what we'll do is we're going to keep exploring. Then... Murder all the shopkeepers. Donate more money to the priests. Possibly murder the mine town priests. We should, oh, it's another wraith. Hmm. No. Hmm. Eh, hmm. Not sure if I want to. So I'm still more than ten thousand experience away from the next level. So, there's certainly an argument to be made for eating a wraith now. But the greedy part of me says we should wait. Oh shit. I hope that didn't kill the priest. Okay, it didn't. <laughs> Close one. Because uh, my dragon totally would have. Oh, I'm at max. Uh, I guess I should use Detect Unseen. Uh, speaking of training divination spells, so obviously... Um, obviously Light is a solid spell to use to train divination, because it's level 1, so it's really easy to cast. Problem is it angers pets when you use it, because it will blind monsters, which makes it much more useful in as an offensive weapon, but it also offends your pets, so gotta be careful. Um, however, in the next version, it will not offend your pets. Presumably, you like, put your hand over their eyes or something, and you cast it, because you're not a jerk. So they will not get angry at you anymore. Um, which means you can use, like, it means that having pets doesn't totally remove the possibility of ever casting light. Wow. I'm kind of surprised the knight is still alive. Kudos. Still, you must die. Come on. There we go. Dragon must be pretty low level. Ooh, how much speed? Uh, but it's made of metal. Eh, but I could use it for a humanoid pet if I ever find one. So I guess I'm taking it. 
Stone small shields are pretty neat. They give like three AC. Still, if I end up with a pet, I'll give it my shield of reflection, most likely. Um, my dragon's probably busy eating. Yeah, so come on, go attack the horsey. I'm just trying to get its hit points up. There we go. Okay, now we've got to do Wraith Tag again. Try to... Oh, there's the first one. Oh, but it's going the other direction. Lovely. I'd like to keep it away from the Tengu, because if it digests it, then I don't get a corpse. And I probably would. I find it interesting that I can tear through webs. I think that must be a turtle thing. You can do it with Gauntlets of Power, basically with any form of strength, but I don't have giant strength, so it must be something else. Leprechauns, as always, must be destroyed wherever they go off to. <sighs> now I gotta watch out for that. Well, I've trained Smog well. to attack leprechauns on site. Oh my god, there's another temple. <laughs> I just didn't think anything of the giant over here, but of course... And it's Tegetsukohadl! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> there's so many temple, uh, so many altars. I'm feeling a little stressed, to be honest. Like, I really don't want to let my god down at this point. Ooh, and you've got water on the floor, too. Okay, this is looking to be an even better stash location. Um, water for blanking stuff. Uh, co-aligned priest. Honestly, it might be better to have a co-aligned altar without a priest on permanent stash levels, because presumably the priest will die eventually by accident or on purpose. And then you're left with a, whatever they're called, desecrated temple eth sort of thing. You have to worry about ghosts, and it's a pain. I don't know. I could also try to keep the priest alive, though. And I'd have sanctuary there, whatever it's called. Fuck! This is why you don't wear gold amulets, kids. to the sanctuary? Not quite. And it's gone again. Huh, little closet there. Interesting. Um, I guess we can check our gear real quick. Nothing exciting there. Unseen a few times to bleed off excess power. One more time. My god. If one of these orcs has a wanted of death, I swear to god. I should probably put on my shield of reflection. I mean, it's not going to be true, but. Oh, there you are. Right in my sights, even. Lovely. Of course, it's the one time you don't die immediately. Freaking leprechauns, man. Thank gosh. Okay. Magic resistance reacquired. Badass dual wielding restored. Back on track, track, folks. All right. Where to next? Did I find the downstairs? I have not. Where could it be? Hmm. 
Near the room up here somewhere. Wait, did my dragon die? Presumably it just moved levels. Dragons are tough. Man, did it level teleport? I'm just gonna check one level up again. Okay. It also could have been a trap door, in which case I should check the level below, of course. And I do not know where that is yet. Fun. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any long hallways here. But then where? Okay, that's where that corridor goes. Gelatinous cube. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Main thing. Magical breathing. Secondary thing, let's check out this ring. Does it work? Probably not. Um, I momentarily stiffened. Oh my god, it's actually free action. Wow. I, I was not expecting that. Okay, so long, ring of protection. Um, really glad I didn't drop one of them down the sink. And this dude should give me some fire resistance, I believe 6%. Yep. Now I'm going to switch back to magic resistance. Nice. Wow, lots of lucky stuff happening. Uh, and disappearing in s under suspicious circumstances. Oh, there's a pathway this way. No, my poor dragon. How did he die? Oh, he probably got poisons. Insta kill. Brutal. It happens, I guess. Um, and then we're at Medusa. Okay. I should have known that. The eerie ominous well means Catherine's portal is on the level, which in turn means you're one level above Medusa. In terms of Medusa strats, I do have reflection. So I can try to just stone her. It's probably my best bet. Um, doesn't mean I won't throw stuff at her, but I'll be relying on the stoning. Eh, I could probably just do that now, I guess. I might leave that statue to stone to flesh if I'm looking for another pet. And I find stone to flesh, of course. Uh, actually, actually, I'm going to put my wands in the bag because I don't know when I might face an electric eel. Not worried about drowning because turtle. I guess I'm a little bit worried about rusting. Uh, so bye bye, Atlas. I should wear my shields just so I don't forget later. Bye bye, tinning kit. Okay. I am reflecting. Um, and that should be, I'm not carrying anything rusty, rustable, so I can go into the water. This is like the one level where being a turtle really shines, other than playing of water, I guess. I don't know if it even shines there. Um, because you can see indefinitely underwater as a turtle, but only if the squares are lit. And most watery places are not lit. So you're basically reduced to one square vision like normal. I think that might even be the case on a plane of water. So that kind of sucks. Um, but you can gather all the kelp you desire here. Good for herbivorous pets. Which is why I'm collecting them. This over here? Sure, what the hell? 
Anyways, this lawful unicorn it is. It's weird how you can semi-attack from shore. Sometimes I've stumbled into things instead, and I'm not sure what determines that. Um, they can't attack you while you're in the water, which is a bit lame. And you can't detect anything, even if you put on a blindfold. Telepathy doesn't apparently does not penetrate water. <laughs> uh, have free action, so I don't mind if. I have a couple turns if I get swallowed, so I don't want to take off my magic resistance amulet unless I have to. <sighs> We're inching up on our fire resistance, which is nice. What are we here? Statue of a woodland elf. Okay, I'm wearing my shield of reflection. It is happening. Uh, what else need I do? One water troll down. Oh, shit. Was that? Okay. I thought, so the two looked like it had changed to a three, and I thought there's a shape changer, but it was just the troll and the warhorse switching places. We're good. Um, I think I should go for it. I have extrinsic speed, which makes stoning significantly less of a threat. I should take out all my lizard corpses. I think we're good to go. Oh, and my Atlas might use that as a ranged option. Make that my alternate weapon for now. Okay. Deep breath. Let's do this. I was considering kicking down the door, and then I didn't because it would make noise, but I'm going to have to step on a squeaky trap anyway, so... Should have done it. For the aesthetic. Will Medusa step on squeaky traps, I wonder? That would be a, just a silly way to cheese her. Um, she's usually actually pretty easy to stone. So, her, she will only get stoned by her reflection if you're within two squares of her. But she has a whole bunch of poison arrows, which she's happy to fire at you instead of coming up close. I guess it's confusion. Um, so yeah, she also has a stoning bite, so you don't want to get within one square of her. It's a whole thing. Um, but because of these arrows, she will be fine staying two squares away from you. Oh, definitely do not want to be burdened right now. And monsters don't use 80s or mid scrolls anyway, so... Wait, am I still too far away? I guess, yeah, okay. Turn to stone, we're good. I shouldn't destroy your statue because it's historic, so I'll wait till after the quest. But she might have some good loot, who knows. Okay. And then we'll take this. And this, and this, and this, and this. Level 5. Not super excited about that necessarily. Oh, and I can just go back to dual wielding. <sighs> eh, can I eat the corpse? Okay, troll down. Great. Another mess spell book, but I'm certainly do some mess spell books after all the great ones I've gotten. Ooh, another level three. ID and remove curse are the main ones there, but repair armor would be great. 
I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Oh, shoot. I damaged Medusa's statue. Shit. Well, I was going to anyway at some point. And she has a ring. Um, so that's nice. I thought it was another player monster statue. Whatever. Um, oh, shit. Apply F, not fire. How'd they end up here? Huh. Um, brought up my Atlas, so I should put that away again. Probably don't need it out anyway. And back into the water in search of my spear. There it is. Okay, we're good. Well, I've found confusion, right? Okay, I guess it does an auto ID. So I should call it that myself. Don't really need to sequester it in my bag because I'm going to blank it anyway. Are there things that I want to blank that I can't elsewhere? Not certain. I might want to blank object detection, but depends. Are these statues or actual giants? Rush giants, great, okay. Um, can get some strength from those. Oops. Back in the water, back in the water. <laughs> I'm loving this. It's like playing Battleship, except you're invincible. Um, potion to gain ability, lovely. I can max out my stats, except maybe strength. Probably strength, certainly. I play a lot of weak races, so I'm not totally up to date on how the strength gain works. Ooh, a horn. It's exciting. Don't have a holding bag yet, so we don't have to worry about IDing wands right necessarily. I suppose I should be in the market for a new pet, actually, because the polymorph trap wasn't used up. So, where's that frost giant? There. Oh, ate the wrong thing. Guess I'm tinning the last giant. After I get the tin out. <laughs> All right. Missing anything? Did not appear to be. Oh, that's not a statue. Alrighty. Magic trap could be useful. Don't want to step in it and lose my sea invisible, so. Oh, and Medusa's statue is no more because I was a dum dum. Alrighty, well, we've killed Medusa. This is an obvious natural ending point. Um, one last statue, for old time's sake. Gray unicorns don't deserve to be preserved in statues anyway. Hashtag lawful for life. All right. Uh, see y'all next time. No idea what we're going to do. Bye-bye for now. Oh, one last thing before I leave, because I might forget and just dive into the water. Let's put the scroll and, I guess, everything else in my oilskin sack. Hey, cheers.